Hey friends, welcome to the Yoder Homestead. Today I am planting someone else's garden. <laughs> that feels really weird to say. Uh, this is my garden that I um, built last year and it was one year that I was able to plant in it and enjoy it here at our house. And uh, then we ended up selling our house before I knew uh, before I knew that I planted garlic in the bed which I went over that when I fertilized everything. But today I'm gonna to be planting some things for the new owners. Um, we know them pretty well and I just thought it would be fun to bless them with some plantings since they won't be moving in until a month from now. So I was like, well, I'm gonna start some things in pots too and I'm gonna be direct sowing on the new property because we did put, our, put my garden in. So I was like, well, hey, maybe she would want some things planted too. So I decided I would ask her and she was totally on board with it and was really blessed by it. So I figured I would bring you guys along and just show you guys what I'm planting in zone six. Today is April 10th and it is a beautiful day outside. It's a little chilly, but the next 10 days, um, the evening temperatures are gonna stay above freezing. So I think pretty much all of them are pretty much in the low 40s at night, which is perfect because then anything that comes up, I don't have to worry about it freezing. And if it does, I'll just cover it. Um, but that's like ideal temperature here for us to plant outside without me having to do a lot with it. So I'm just gonna jump right in here. Um, I have some different seeds here that I'm gonna be planting. Uh, let's see, we have my little basket here. So I have some beets, carrots, kale, kohlrabi, lettuce, some snap peas, some sugar peas, some radishes, some rutabagas, some spinach, and some Swiss chard. I'm really excited to put this in here because if it does come up before we move, I get to see it. <laughs> I'm actually excited to plant all these things. I'm just excited to plant in general, honestly, like not gonna lie. But I do have my green stock over there, so I'm gonna be planting some things in there for myself. And then I also have these big round pots here. And there's quite a few pots up on the porch that I thought, well, hey, I could plant some things in those areas. But this is the bed I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna do one bed, because I figured that way it leaves her, you know, some room if she wants other things or whatever. So I'm just gonna pack this bed really full of some stuff. Um, I might do maybe some lettuces over in that bed over there. But in here, I'm thinking probably just stagger it. So the sun is still pretty far on this side. And so I'm gonna do my taller things up front here um, or just maybe put them all on one side and put the shorter things on the other side. Then I was thinking I would do some peas going up the trellis and then some peas going up this trellis. Um, but I wasn't quite sure if I want to do that or if I want to put the peas on the other side because that way it doesn't shade out anything because we still have some, we still have short days. It's not like super long days, but anywho, I'm going to get some labels so that I can stick in so that she knows what I planted, where I planted what. <laughs> And then we'll fill the green stock with some lettuce and things like that. And then uh, I'll plant some pots here. I might have to grab some compost and just amend these uh, pots since it was potting soil. But anyways, let's plant.
Alrighty, so I got this one planted. That was a lot of fun. I uh, always forget how much I love it until I get to plant stuff again. So I did some, what are these called? Sugar Magnolia snap peas. Um, these are like a purple pod. So I did four plants of those and just let them climb up there. Then I did kohlrabi and beets and Swiss chard. Then over here, this is all carrots in here and radishes. Then I have the two other varieties of peas that'll grow up that side. Then over here, I think I'm just gonna throw in some lettuce and spinach and what else do I have? Kale and rutabagas we'll do over here. Didn't realize I was out of carrots, so I'm gonna need to get those ordered so I can plant them in my garden yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna plant this side yet, and then we'll do the green stock. Now. So one thing I did do for these beds last fall was I just topped them completely with compost um, and I just let them sit. I didn't do anything else with them and now you know all the rain and the snow that we've gotten over this past winter has had the chance to soak in and kind of wash that nutrition down into the rest of the soil. They have settled um, so that's something they'll probably have to add more more soil or just more compost than I added this fall. But I added like a good probably four inches of compost, three inches maybe, something like that. But I do recommend that, uh, amending your beds in the fall and letting them sit in the winter. I really wanted to cover crop them, but I didn't get to it and I figured, well, at least I did do the uh, compost. So anyway, just wanted to share that, make sure to do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna plant some lettuce and kale and spinach and rutabagas. I might skip the rutabagas because not everybody's a fan of those. And uh, I only have a couple seeds, so. Um, and then we'll do the green stuff. Not gonna lie, I am gonna miss my waist high garden beds. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I have aspirations of what I want in my new garden space though, so that's exciting. Okay. Wow, I think I have a lot of these. <laughs> so we're going to plant a lot of this variety. And then I'm going to do some lettuce. Lettuce seeds. I'm actually debating planting this thing because, well actually I do have potting soil, so we are going to plant it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to run inside real quick and get some potting soil because these should just be replaced because um, I didn't empty, empty them last year. So I'm going to go do that real quick and just replace the soil. I'm really curious if this time is going to come back says English time is a perennial in our area, but I don't know about that. These chives are doing amazing. <laughs> oh goodness. I actually haven't even gotten to use them, but look at these little babies growing around here. I'm actually, when I get to my herb garden over on the new property, I'm going to pull these whole things out and use them as like a border planting in my herb garden because you can cut them and shape them and 
They're amazing. I love chives. On eggs and potatoes, pretty much everything. Not gonna lie. This one over here is loving its life. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna come back or not. These are both English time, but. So this is actually really easy, kind of cool to uh, show. I did get another green stock. But anyway, so this just all comes off. So we're gonna take this apart and dump the soil out. Such might actually go grab the hose and wash these. And so, like when it comes down in each layer, these are the uh, water trays, and then there's little holes that emit water to each leaf. Pretty cool. because I see some slugs that we're harboring in here. I may leave this layer here because I'm not sure if those uh, thyme plants are good, but hang on. Wash these pieces off real quick. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, but I just want to get him started. So I'm just going to water the, you guys can even see, I'm just going to water this stuff in real quick. Okay, let's put the green stock back together. I really tried to make sure all of these holes were clear. And you want to line up the holes with each like leaf when you're putting it back together. Alrighty. Now I'm going to fill this up and put it back on there. So when you're putting these together, you want to fill to the very top, like the actual edge because it's going to settle a little bit. And then these just line up with the next layer. Just like that. Filled it all the way to the top. Once again, line your holes up with each leaf.
Didn't think that one through. I'm just gonna do this layer like that, and then I'll fill it up more. Actually, maybe keep it full towards the center, because I can't reach that part. And then I'll fill the little things up. You don't have another little gray thing that goes on the top layer. It's just this because this one has the holes for each leaf. And that just goes on the top. Like that. But I'm going to plant this ring here with some lettuce seeds quick and some spinach. And then we're going to call that a day. So I think I'm only going to do like these three because the sun is a lot on this side, which my other green stock that I ordered has a rotating base, which is amazing. All right. Okay, I am going to say bye real quick because my battery is going to die, but thanks for hanging out with me guys. Thanks for joining me while I plant this garden for our new homeowners. I bless you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.